And so the weight of the snow has led to a significant number of outages. Public Service reporting nearly 140,000 uh, customers with outages, with the southern part of the state more heavily hit than the north. Unitil has more than 21,000 customers out. Liberty Utilities reporting about 1,500 outages. New Hampshire Electric Co-op has more than 18,000. So WMUR's Gene Mackin is joining us live from Concord, where more than half of Unitel's customers are without power there tonight. Gene. Yeah, Tom, and like so many communities across New Hampshire tonight, the state capitol has been dealing with these mass power outages. We're told state buildings and the Concord Hospital have both been on backup generator power tonight. We're coming to you live from South Main Street, where you can see just how heavy the snow is hanging on these tree limbs. We still have power here, one of the spots that has power, but the lights have been flickering. We can tell you that power is out completely at thousands of homes in this city on Thanksgiving Eve. When the snow started piling up, the tree branches started coming down. One limb went through the windshield of a moving car on Pleasant Street in Concord. Police say no one was hurt, but power lines came down with it, taking Concord Hospital off the grid and on to backup generator. No Traffic detoured, including these people who lost power. We haven't had power since like 5:30. You worried about Thanksgiving? Yeah, I wanted to see my parents. The outages are impacting intersections, taking out traffic lights, and leaving homes by the thousands in the dark. Electricity went out around 5 Thanksgiving Eve at the Willingham House. We couldn't charge our phones in the house, so we were trying to go out to charge the phones in the car. And I think probably all my food now is going to need to be thrown out because it's been several hours. So. Are you upset about this happening right before Thanksgiving? Well, a little bit, yeah. It's a little challenging on Thanksgiving, sure. You seem to still have a smile. <laughs> what else can we do, really, right? I just, yeah, we'll just wait out the storm and take it from there. Boy, she's really trying to hold on to that Thanksgiving spirit, but for thousands of families across the Granite State tonight, they are worried the Thanksgiving feast will be in the dark. And with the outage numbers topping 180,000 customers across the state, that is a very, very real possibility on this Thanksgiving Eve. Live in Concord, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.